Hey, how you doing? This is Evangelist Larry McGee. You know, one of the things that God is laying on my and my wife's heart, you know, about the biggest enemy, the biggest roadblock to Christians every day, the church in general, individually, corporately, collectively. In my 30 years of serving God, in my life's whole lifetime, I've been serving God since she was five. Yes, we had our backslidden days, our falling away days. But the biggest thing we always talk about biblically is Satan. It's our adversary. It's evil itself. It's it's the powers and principalities of darkness that come against us. But how does it manifest? It is manifested through people. And I can honestly say, and something I will be preaching about in our next city, 2020 is coming and when I will be preaching about God is starting to release me in that season to speak truth to power but in love about some of the things that my wife and I experienced in 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 this whole thing we call Christendom and God has told my wife and I be the solution and so what am I talking about the biggest enemy I've ever seen is in the church is toxic leadership and abusive and spiritual leadership and in fact, right now, my wife and I are developing sermons, sermon series, and, click and curriculum on how to deal with that, how to rectify it and correct it and bring healing to those who have been hurt. Now, some of you kind of know my wife's and I, mine and my wife's story. There was a season my wife and I brought a lot of hell on ourselves. She was caught in a porn I was caught, I mean, I was caught in a porn addiction, you know, um, heavily womanizing, went to strip clubs. This was as an associate, as an ordained associate pastor in a holiness Pentecostal domination. My wife was caught up in painkiller addiction and we were on the verge of divorce. We brought some things upon ourselves. But at the same time, we were caught in some toxic leadership stuff. And God's bringing my wife and I to a place, into a season that we're going to be helping pull people out who've been spiritually abused, church abused, and where their dirty pearls were exploited to the benefit of others. We want to push people up push them higher, lift them up. And I will say, one of the sermons I preach, I'm gonna give you a little, little hint. You know, King Saul, King Saul, the one we love so much. And don't throw him under the bus, man. We've all been a King Saul at one point or other, at some point in time. But King Saul, he had a choice. When he lost the anointing, he could have, when he found out the revelation, King David, or David to be the king, had the anointing of God. Before he became king, King Saul chose to chase. King Saul chose to try to kill David. Instead, he could have said, man, David, come here, let me talk to you, my spiritual son. Let me let you know something. I made some mistakes and let me show you how I've done wrong and how I messed up. Man, the anointing of God is on you. Man, what Samuel anointed you? Look, wow, praise God. I lost it. Don't do what I did. But no, King Saul chased and tried to kill. And as we know, he got killed in battle. You know what? Um, I'm looking forward. I'm excited. 2020 is coming and God's telling me, be the solution. We're going to be, we're developing a lot of curriculum on a lot of topics. Who? And one of them God just gave me today. What about the Goliath that's not outside the church? When the Goliath is in the church, how do you handle? How do you pray? How do you stand? And how do you love? And how do you forgive? Anyways, this is Pastor Larry. I'm, I'm about to say adios, Audi 5000. We used to say, man, be the solution. 2020 is coming. Man, my wife and I are super excited. Bam.